poppin' YouTube. It's your boy E Peace back in the kitchen. Got another quick bodybuilding meal for y'all. Quick recipe. I'm gonna be making some spinach turkey burgers. I got two pounds of ground turkey. Got a bag of spinach, some a red onions, and some oatmeal. And of course, some um, Mrs. Dash. Today I'll be using the onion and herb along with the sodium free salt. It's real simple. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. Alright, I got all my ingredients separated and ready to be mixed. Now I used a cup and a half of spinach, diced up. I got the half a cup of oatmeal and from the red onion I just used half of it. So half the red onion diced up, chopped up as well. Got the turkey in a bowl and I'm going to throw everything together. You know, after you put everything in and the spices in, you know, you want to make sure you really mix this up good. Uh, you preferably with your hands so you just spread out the ingredients thoroughly. You know, get it into a good mold. And like I said, I was going to use the Mrs. Dash and the sodium free salt. But you could really use whatever seasonings you prefer. So sea salt, black pepper, paprika, red pepper, whatever. Whatever it is you like. Now me, I just like to keep it sodium free as much as possible it just suits me better so yeah I'm gonna show you what it looks like keep watching this is what your mixture should look like guys spend about four or five minutes mashing this shit up making sure all the ingredients were thoroughly spread out now it's ready to be made into patties uh, but let me put you on to a little tip little trick to making a perfect size patty grab the top to your protein powder Use some aluminum foil, you know, pack it in, and also pack the meat in there as well, and pull out the aluminum foil, and it'll be the perfectly sized burger. Trust me. Let me show you. All right, I got the skillet on the stove, preheated. I uh, sprayed it down with some cooking spray, some olive oil cooking spray, and I'm about to, you know, put the burger in there, turn it over. You want to use two hands for this, but for the sake of recording, you know, I'm doing it with one. Just flip it right over, take the cap off, uh, re take the aluminum foil off, and that's it. You see it. It's perfectly round. It's real thick. Looks real juicy. So, you know, just cover the skillet and cook the shit. All right, my burger's done. It's ready to get killed. I put a slice of cheese on it. I have no whole wheat hamburger bun, so I just use some whole wheat bread. Not a problem at all. I love me some whole wheat bread. As you see, it's real thick. It didn't shrink like, you know, some hamburger patties tend to do when you cook them. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Y'all hold it down. Get at me.